Hi, I'm Mark Schmitz. I'm a geologist and I'm here at John Day Fossil Beds National Monument in Oregon. Uh, again, studying the history of John Day Fossil Beds by looking at the different rocks exposed in these outcrops. Here we have a very interesting outcrop which allows us to look at two different ways of dating rocks. Using superposition, uh, uh, one of the principles of relative dating, uh, we can determine that the relative ages of this green siltstone versus this very interesting rock above it. This rock is a volcanic ash. The green siltstone, because it is lying below the volcanic ash, is older. Older siltstone with an overlying volcanic ash, which is younger. We have the opportunity here, because this is a volcanic ash, to actually complement relative dating with an absolute radiometric date. We can assign a number in millions of years to this volcanic rock. The volcanic ash contains minerals, minerals like zircon, feldspar, and biotite, which contain natural amounts of radioactive elements like uranium and potassium. Those radioactive elements then decay to their daughter products, lead and argon. It is that decay that provides us with our natural clock for determining the absolute age of this volcanic ash. 